Hello again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz video for you. This is an interesting little thing we're going to do today. It's an, a frequently asked question. In fact, it is probably, I won't say it's the most often asked question, but it's in the top half dozen. And that is, how do you set up a position in Fritz? Now, I have to laugh because it's like a gypsy curse. It doesn't matter where they put the feature. It doesn't matter how big they make the button, where they put it, what the keyboard shortcut is, whatever. For some reason, nobody can ever find this feature. Over the over the num the numerous uh, Fritz interfaces we've had down through the years, going the whole way back to the DOS days, just for some reason, people just can't find this feature, and I don't know why. Like I said, it's some kind of bizarre gypsy curse or something, because it's really not hidden. To set up a position in Fritz, we're going to show you how to get there and also show you how to do it. First, you want to click on the Insert menu up here at the top. And if you go way off here to the right, there's a big button that says Position Setup. It's not hidden. You don't have to drill down through a whole bunch of different things to get to it. But for some reason, people just can't seem to find this no matter where it's located in the interface. Don't know why. But now you know. Position setup is here, and when you click on it, you get this interface. The default position is always going to be the last position that you had on the chessboard. If you want to clear it, just come down here to clear board, and it gets rid of it. This is your box of pieces. All you have to do is click on a button, click on a square. It's that simple. If you want the other color, I have the white king selected. I can just move up here and right click. Down here, I left clicked. If you right click, you get the opposite color from the button you selected. So I started with a white king. Let's go down here. We'll take a white knight. Click here with the left mouse button. I get a white knight with the left mouse button. I got the white one with the right one. I get a black one. If you want to get rid of, if you want to change the color, here's interesting too. Say I want a white knight there instead of a black knight for some weird reason. If I take the white knight icon and click on the black knight, it changes its color. If I click again, it gets rid of it completely. Basically, if I want to get rid of this knight, click on white knight, left click on it, get rid of it. But basically what it is, you click on a button, click on a square, it's that simple. And if you decide you want to change the color, right clicking does the opposite color. Very simple. You have some other buttons here. You need to tell the program whether or not white can castle or black can castle. That's what these are for. Um, obviously, in this position, you wouldn't need to worry about that. But if you have a position where kings and rooks are on their initial square, it is entirely possible. For example, let me just get everything off the board here. It is entirely possible to have a position like this in which nobody can castle because the rooks have already moved or let's say the king has already moved or let's say the a1 rook has already moved but the h1 rook hasn't so castling king side would be possible but not queen side you need to make sure you have the boxes checked so that the program knows where castling is legal and where it's not also this is very important and this is the part that everybody messes up at some point and that is the side to move if it's black's turn to move, make sure you click black. White is always is the default. White is always assumed. Make sure that you click the side to move. In fact, you should probably do that first because you notice that I had this unchecked, that when I changed the side to move, it checked it back again. So do your side to move first and then do your castling selection. Uh, you can also change move numbers if you're putting in a position from an existing game. It's a classic Paul Morphy game, let's say, and you want to set up the position at move 22. Make sure you put the move number here. That way, when you go ahead and start inputting moves or making moves on the board, the move number will be correct. En passant, you just need to make a note here of which piece can capture en passant. Can't do it here. I don't have any pawns on the board. I'm not going to set that up. But the help file will tell you exactly what you need to type in there for positions where you have pawns on the board and en passant capture is possible and is legal. Once you've done all of that, you can simply click OK and there's your position on the board. And notice that, let me flip the board around, notice that uh, it's white's turn to move. So we'll make a move. Of course, Fritz is moving. Um, notice here that uh, the move number is, in fact, move number 22, as we selected earlier. 
So I just wanted to demonstrate that as well. So there you go. That's the uh, that's the deal. By the way, White is absolutely going to win this position. <laughs> but uh, that's how you set up a, a move uh, position. Rather, you click Insert and go to Position Setup. It will always default to the previous position. Remember, if you want to get rid of everything that's on the board, just click Clear Board, and you can go to town. Just clicking on buttons and putting pieces in as many as few as you want to. Notice, however, another thing, and that is that it will not accept an illegal position. You cannot put in positions where there are multiple kings on the board, um, or, for example, white is in check and it's black's move. You, you can't do that. You have to put in legal positions. That's done on purpose. We get uh, thousands of users around the world, people in, inputting games by hand, inputting positions by hand, putting them up on the Internet for people to download and put in their databases. It's done so we don't have a bunch of bad data out there floating around with illegal moves and illegal positions. You have to set up a, a legal position for this to work. For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.